I've noticed that most Indian airports have this massive Indian flag in front of it. I don't get it. Who is going to look outside from the airport and think, Oh, is this Paris? Like, who is this flag for? Bit of backstory here. Why is Chennai important to me? Well, in 2018, I was flat broke and Agrim and I devised a genius plan. I would pretend to be a college student, enter college competitions and win money. The competitions I went to were all in Kerala, so to risk people from the same college from knowing me, I told people I studied in a college in Chennai. More on that story later, but my first experience with Chennai was having to memorize places like Nungambakkam, Amethyst and Royapeta. I'd never been to Chennai and I would tell people that I was always at Amethyst Cafe and that I was visiting Kerala for a couple of days. Today, I finally went to THE Amethyst Cafe and I absolutely hated it. The food was terrible, the service was terrible, there was this cute cat though. I wanted to document the walk to and from Amethyst to our hotel. I think there isn't a better way to get a feel for a city than to walk or cycle through it. My first impression of Chennai was that it's a city without moderation. There's only extremes. I met either assholes or saints. The actors here don't have fans, they have worshippers. The city either rains 24-7 or it's extremely dry. The food either nourishes your soul or makes you wish you didn't have a tongue. But I think the thing that stands out most is the way people in Chennai carry themselves. Everybody is someone in their own right. Nobody is a nobody. There's a sort of style or swagger with each step people take. This bleeds into the culture, the music, the art and the very pavement and the walls of the city. We went to Phoenix Mall to get some stuff and ate at the chilies there. The food was terrible and I have zero footage of it. We did fool around a bunch in the mall though. Jordy, won't you go get a bag of the lead through? I'll be undressed in the bra all see through. Why you count your juice thinking I'ma cheat you? The only one thing I wanna do is freak you. Keep the stone set like I long forgets. And I'll be doing things that you won't regret. Little Kim the Queen. What's your overall review of today's day in Chennai? <laughs> okay, I can't hate on Chennai. But today was not a great day. Because, um, one, we all the food experiences today was ass. Started with Amethyst, it used to be a great place. Now it's ass. Amethyst more like Asthetis. Asthetis. This is your today's day in Chennai. Food fucking sucks. What else sucks? Amethyst sucks, chili sucks, too much traffic. Yeah, it's taking a five star, but there's no water in the hotel. There's only stars in this hotel. No water. At night time, it was time to surprise our old friend Anaf. Anaf is a great fucking guy. Anaf is my brother's childhood friend from school. He would come over from sleepovers often and I loved hanging out with him. I once told him as an 8 year old that I loved him more than a brother. They haven't stopped making fun of me since then. It was a satisfying end to the day, except our Uber ride back was incredibly bad. The car smell made me want to vomit and the guy was driving at like 140 km per hour with his earphones in. And when my brother asked him to slow down, he said, Hey, no, it's no problem. I've gone faster. Thankfully, we got back in one piece. <laughs>